Hey, hey, good morning. I just wanted to share some breakfast with you. I'm making Southwest vegan breakfast tacos and uh, that's our fixings there. We've got some black beans. And for our toppings, we've got tomato, red onion, cilantro, black olives, and avocado. I think our pan should be heated up now. I don't have any oil in there. I just cook with water. Well, there's a lot of water held in the tofu too. So I'm just gonna cook this exactly like you would cook, you know, like scrambled eggs. So I just kind of break it apart and that's exactly how they come out too. And then you add turmeric and you can add salt, pepper, any spices that you want. But I'm just gonna do turmeric for now. So, all right guys, we're cooking up our tofu egg and I was just playing some plant videos. That's one of my favorite things to do when I'm in the kitchen cooking is I turn on YouTube and I watch plant videos. Um, I love watching Plantarina, she's one of my favorites and her, her interior plantscaping is just gorgeous. Oh my gosh, if you haven't seen her videos and you love plants, definitely check her out. Oh, you know what? I forgot to mention, I'm cooking in a cast iron pan. This is Michael's favorite wok to cook stir fries in. So cooking it like this in a cast iron pan, you just wanna keep it moving and that'll keep it from sticking or at least it'll minimize the amount that the tofu wants to stick to the pan. All right, we're cooking up our tortilla shells. All right, let's dish up our breakfast tacos. Okay, we've got our tofu egg. We'll get some black beans on there, some onion. Tomato. Michael and I love using black olives on our enchiladas or in tamales when we're making those. So whenever we're doing breakfast tacos, we tend to throw them on there too. And some cilantro, avocado. All right, Southwest vegan breakfast tacos. It's time to water the air plant babies. I've got Azira graphica and then, oh, there we go. Can you see that one? That one's a hybrid Azira graphica. Don't mind that stuff. I'm, I've got a little bit of a declutter that I'm doing. That's what that bag is for donation. So I try to remember to water these once a week. Sometimes it ends up being once every other week. So I get this Eleanor's VF11 from, oh, I think that was Michael texting, um, from EcoGrow. And this is awesome for feeding your plants. I use it on all kinds of house plants. And wait, let's get a little bit more there. There we go. So you can use this on any vegetation for your yard or in your home. And then we put our babies in the bath. Here, let's get you, there we go. I'm sure they prefer rainwater. I did save some, but I used it up already on other plants. So these guys are gonna have to use the filtered water this time. So I just let them soak for 20 minutes and just do that once a week. And that's plenty. You can mist them if you want, but I actually normally don't end up doing that. I, I normally just you know give them a soak and then that's it. And they're pretty good. But what I've noticed is if you're in a dry climate, Go for the air plants because there's a wide range of air plants, right? There's all kinds of species of them, but go for the ones that are more whitish, like the silvery gray ones, which these are, because those are more acclimated to drier climates. And if you're not in a dry climate, then you can get away with pretty much any of them. You can do the real green ones, and those are really pretty too. But I tend to like the silvery whitish ones anyway, so that works out perfect that they like the dry climate because we're here in the Sonoran Desert and it is dry as a bone here, but I love it. Oh, and look how green they get when they're wet though. Isn't that cool how they change color like that? But when they're dry, they turn more silvery and have that whitish because they have these fine little hairs on them, like almost indetectable. They're super fine, but that's how they kind of gather their moisture and their food is with those hairs. Let's look at this one, see how, see the color change on that too. And this one, the big zero graphic, I got that at Lowe's. That was a good deal. It was only like $16. Oh man, I was so stoked. I absolutely love these. They are so cool. Um, they remind me of some kind of little animal or something like a little Peruvian guinea pig with that little hairdo. Anyway, okay, I will leave you alone. You can get back to your bath. And this is a Hoya Carnosa. I just gotta water this, but I'm wiping down the leaves first with a microfiber cloth just because, you know, ins inside the house, well, whether you're inside or outside, the leaves can get pretty dusty and then that interferes with their photosynthesis. So. I just wipe those down every once in a while, just make sure that they're getting access to the light that they need. Okay, let's give this poor little Hoya some water. This thing is thirsty. I had it outside for, well, quite a while, like all during spring, and I finally brought it in, but you can see it's, it's leaves, uh, they're so light colored. It was getting too much bright light, like in a little bit of sunlight kind of filtering through the tree outside. So we're gonna bring it back to health inside the house here, where I think it'll be happier as long as it's by a window. It does have new growth at the top there, so that's good. 
I'm going to move this out of the way though for now while I clean the table. And I don't know about you guys, for cleaning glass, we just use vinegar and water, just like a 50-50 solution. And wait, we're going to move you to come along. Oh, you need to get wiped down too. I see dust on your leaves. And then just wipe it down with a microfiber cloth. So I'm just wiping down these leaves real quick. I love these Hartley philodendrons, they're so pretty. I'm not sure if it's getting enough light. It's still growing, it's just pretty slow. If I moved it closer to the light, it would grow a lot faster though. But it's it's doing okay. When I first took the cutting, it was just a little, I think it stopped like right about here. Okay, how cool is it to be able to see the roots in there though? I think that's so neat. Can you see these little new shoots? All these white ones, those are fresh roots coming out. So neat. I'm pretty sure I showed you guys when we first got this, but this table I got at, uh, not an estate sale shop, it was just a regular thrift store, but they had some nice furniture every once in a while come in. And I got it for 30 bucks. The, it's got a nice heavy duty acrylic or lucite uh, stand under there. It actually just unloaded it, and as soon as I was looking at it, someone else pulled up and they were kind of like moving. <laughs> you know how it is when you're looking at something at a estate sale or thrift store, people move in on items real quick, so you gotta be fast. So the guy was like, I was, you know, kind of looking at it, and the guy was like, oh, do you want this? And they were just unpacking the, the glass top, and I was like, yes, that, the, how much is it? Oh, $30? Okay, yes, we're getting that. But the Z chairs, we got those on Overstock, and I had a promo coupon, so saved, saved a bunch of money on those, too. Okay, this plant, I think we're going to move this because it stopped... It stopped growing when I moved it out here, and it needs more light is what that tells me. So I'm thinking I'm going to either move it closer on this side or on that side of that window. Or, I don't know, maybe in the kitchen, but it definitely has to get closer to your window because it's nothing really grows very well in the center of our house here because it's just there's not enough light coming in. I just decided since I have this on the glass table, I'm going to put these little clear gummies on the bottom just to keep it from clinging around whenever I get to move it. Yes, these things are so handy. They came in a pack with all kinds of bumpers, like felt and I mean, all different sizes and everything from Costco. Super handy, I use them all the time. There we go. All right, the air plants are done. So I lay these face down on a towel just to let any water, excess water in the center, let that drain out of there. Because if you if you were to just let the water sit in there, it won't drain and it'll end up rotting from the center and one day you'll just pick up your air plant and it'll just kind of like disintegrate, it'll just like fall apart from the center there. They've got new growth coming out of the center right now too. So you can see those, see those little leaves. So I try to be careful and just, you know, kind of spread that new growth out to the side there as I set them down so I don't smash that. And then I take the leftover water and pour that back into my watering can and then I can go around and water the other plants so it gets reused. Let that one drain out. Okay, we're gonna make an ice blended latte real quick here. I've got two cups of ice going in the blender. And then we will use Trader Joe's. This is their cold brew coffee concentrate. It's the coconut one. That one is my favorite. I just add just a couple of splashes, that's all. So. Not too much. So you can use more if you want. It says use one part coffee concentrate to two parts milk or water. I just use a couple of splashes because I'm not after the actual like caffeine boost or the caffeine buzz of coffee. I only drink coffee like as a flavoring kind of thing. And then we're gonna add some medjool dates. These are my favorite. They are so good and they are perfect for sweetening a lovely ice blended coffee. So in this pack, the dates were a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna add about five or six in this but you can just sweeten it to you know whatever your preference is okay we got about five small medjool dates in there and then to get it creamy we're going to add a fat to it and it can be any kind of fat you want if you want to boost omega-3s you could go with chia seeds you could do dry chia seeds or gel and just add a few you know a few tablespoons of the gel or one tablespoon of the dry chia seeds or you could use flax seeds so any of those would boost your omega-3s which is awesome get those in in a coffee you know or you could do uh, like a coconut you know coconut chunks they do the trader joe's coconut chunks or the coconut flakes um, or you could do a little bit of coconut cream even if you wanted i think i'm going to do a combination so i'm going to do a few tablespoons of chia seed gel 
Oh, and I just made this chia seed gel this morning and the ratio I did was about a quarter cup of dry chia seeds to almost two cups of water. This is a two cup jar, so I just left just enough room to be able to shake it up. Okay, I'm gonna do one tablespoon of flax seeds. I'm gonna add two chunks of coconut. And then we'll add our unsweetened vanilla almond milk. And I just fill that to the top where it covers most, most everything, or at least the ice. All right, let's blend it up. Oh my gosh, that is so good. I love that. That is a delicious ice blended latte right there. You guys gotta try it. Do I have any coffee lovers out there? I mean, you can customize this so easily to whatever your tastes are. Play with the fats. You know, if you don't want, if you don't like coconut, they do have a regular cold brew coffee concentrate that you can get at, well, any store, but Trader Joe's has the regular kind too. So one of you guys had asked if I was still drinking coffee at all. And I go through periods where I experiment and I like stop drinking. Like last summer, I stopped drinking coffee just to see if it was affecting my skin at all because I was, I was doing kind of an elimination diet trying to figure out what was getting me. It turned out to be something entirely different. It was black pepper that was getting me. Um, and I wasn't sure if it was the coffee though for a period of time. So I quit drinking it just to see. It actually doesn't seem to affect my skin negatively at all that I've noticed, but um, yeah, I, I actually really enjoy it a lot. Well, we could do an iced coffee version of this too, or an iced latte, where you have the, the cream, like the two tones mixing together in kind of a swirled effect instead of like the blended version. So if you want to see more coffee recipes, we can play around and, and do some other ones too. I guess I could take the sold sticker off this plant. Huh? I forgot that was on there. So this is a plant that we got at the estate sale, and I don't know if I mentioned how much it was, but it was $20 which for this size and the, you know, and the pot and everything and the wheels, the whole thing, 20 bucks, that's a good deal. Yeah, look at that. That one's got all kinds of new growth coming out there. Nice and healthy too. This is a Dracaena marginata. I love these so much because they give a tropical look to your interior, but also they're, they're so easy to take care of. They're like one of the easiest plants to care for. Um, you know, they're very forgiving if you forget to water it and but they do like to dry out a little in between waterings You still have to be careful about over watering it But they'll let you know when you need to water them because the stem on them will get a little bit wrinkly when they get dehydrated So normally I, in, I catch them before that point, but yeah, I love the overall aesthetic of these plants and their leaves Oh my gosh, so sweet. Can you guys see that little prairie dog down there? Well, I, we call them miniature prairie dogs, but they're they're actually uh, round-tailed ground squirrels, but they look just like miniature prairie dogs. Wow, that one gained some weight. Oh my gosh, I think it's been... Holy cow! <laughs> I don't think they're supposed to be that... Uh, oh my word, I don't think they're supposed to be that overweight. <laughs> I think it's been feasting in our compost pile every time I throw out fruit or, you know, vegetable scraps. They run out there and eat it right off the compost pile. Oh, we got a desert spiny lizard there doing push-ups. Of course, because he, he doesn't want anyone else getting all the attention. Oh, look who's back. There's a whole family of generations of these little prairie dogs that live in our backyard. They are so darn cute. Okay, so this is the basket that I got at Home Goods last night, and it had it still has the pink the pink palms on it. Let's let's turn it around so you can see. That's definitely like the old school pink so foxy style, huh? Like little. I think I actually tried to do that. I don't think I ever uploaded that video, but I had done some DIYs that I looked at afterwards, and I was like, you know what? That's that's a little much. I have a tendency to go overboard with things and do like too much and I don't know when to stop, you know? Yeah, I tend to do that a lot. So thank you guys for sticking with me all this time because I I do look back and I'm always trying to improve, but I see where I go wrong. So, you know, it's all a learning experience, right? So yeah, I went over the top when I was in my Pink So Foxy days, but at the time it was fun and I think that's what it's all about is going through your phases and living it out to the fullest, right? Live that fantasy, have fun with it, ride the wave, and then pretty soon you're off to something else, right? If any of you guys are new to my channel watching this and you're like, what are you talking about? Back in the day, uh, back in 2011 when I first started YouTube, my my bedroom was totally minimalist. Like there was no, almost nothing in there. I didn't even have a headboard or anything. 
um, but there was like nothing on the walls. I didn't have any furniture hardly or anything. Um, and there was no decor going on whatsoever. We just had our bed, that was it. And some really bad curtains that, uh, that came with the house that we were renting. Um, but Michael was really sweet. When I started YouTube, he was like, you should make this your filming studio and decorate it however you want as, you know, to have a, just a fun background for YouTube. So I started doing that and as I got into it, I made like everything pink, everything was shabby chic. It was over the top, pastel and cutesy, you know, cupcakes and fluffy pillows and leopard print, hot pink. It was, it was wild, but it was really fun back in the day. Michael's making a chicken sandwich. It's vegan. Yeah, vegan chicken sandwich. <laughs> It's not actually chicken, it just looks like it and tastes like it. Broccoli stir fry. Yes, and oyster mushroom, my oyster. favorite. But uh, you like to cook this first and then throw that in. Yeah, because otherwise if you cook them together at the same time, the mushroom gets too soggy. And you don't use any oil in the wok, so I'm going to uh, let that heat up. Oh, I ate a sweet potato already too. Uh, I forgot to film it. It was a, one of the deep purple ones, so good. Got it at Sprouts. These are delicious. Michael's Savage Kitchen. <laughs> Veganese. Put some of that on there. Ketchup. Ketchup. Slap it. it. That's it. No little lettuce sprig or anything ah. in there? No. Too much greenery, we don't want that. <laughs> Got my stir fry over there. I decided I'm gonna share Michael's food instead of mine. That might be more fun. Yeah, well, <clears throat> there's a definite difference in our bodies. <laughs> Christine eating right and me eating this. Yeah. Eat what, what do you like. What are you buying? Uh, I think you're 182, you said? No. There it is. is. Mm -hmm. Meaty oyster mushrooms, broccoli. Shopping for more groceries. <laughs> Why she's eating. The deal's on out. 72 hour sale. 98 cents for a cantaloupe. $1.88 for blueberries. Good. All right, are we in focus? Hey guys, good morning. It's the next day. We're continuing from continuing. We're continuing on from yesterday, where we left off with the um, you know the should we or should we not neuter the pink balls off the basket. I took two pictures of this here. I'll show you the post. So on Instagram, two pictures because one side has the pink balls, one side does not, and I just. Put, I photographed both of them, put them back to back on there so you guys can decide. I just want to see how you guys voted uh, before I make a decision one way or the other because I want to see if there's a consensus, if you guys leaned a little more one way or the other. Because um, I know it's going to go back and forth, but let's see. Um, so Kathy says, you must hold them. Ask yourself, do these pink balls spark joy? <laughs> and go from there. Okay, let's see. Are we, are we feeling any sparks of joy? I think I know, but I just want to read on a little further. Okay, keep, cut them, keep the balls, so cute. I vote to keep them. No balls, cut, keep, keep, love them. If they don't match your decor, cut them. They are cute in a bedroom though. Uh, keep, keep them on, keep them please. Snip, snip, bye bye balls. <laughs> keep, keep them, cut, keep, get rid of them. Uh, put some pretty crystals on. Cut the fuzzy balls off, it ruins the mood of the room. <laughs> Maybe if the fuzzy ball were white or beige, it would go better. Yes, off with the fuzzy balls. Keep them, keep them, save the balls. Keep, a pop of color is fun. Keep, keep, hell no, we won't go. Balls. <laughs> keep them for the summer, then add something different for each season. Both are good, but I would cut them off. Keep, keep dim balls. <laughs> Looks better without. Keep, keep for now. Leave them on, tuck them in when you aren't excited about them. <laughs> Uh, leave the vasectomy for when you absolutely <laughs> hate them. Okay, snip snip. <laughs> Cut them. Okay, I've got some scissors coming in here. I honestly like off better. Then it seems nice and cohesive and mature. I agree. Um, but the balls add a little random flair and personality. Uh, so it just depends on what you like. Yeah, I totally agree because you could really go either way and you can always pull in more cohesiveness with, you know, bringing something else into the room that kind of connects with it. Okay, bleach them white if you can. If not, cut them off. Neuter that basket. <laughs> Keep. Please make a DIY video of cutting them off, making and installing new ones, maybe white or gray. Yes, we can definitely do more uh, DIYs for sure. 
What, what's the last, what's the first comment I'm gonna see on here? Don't need them. Okay, that's from Nadia, my friend Nadia out in Maui. Okay, let's go ahead and get snipping. I know, I would almost keep them. How about, we're, we're gonna remove them for now, but we're gonna leave them intact in case there's any, any other reason I might need them. Oh, so I had this plant temporarily just sat in here. You can see the rim of its nursery pot, so that's just, that was just temporary. I threw it in there. I um, just wanted to see what the plant would look like, but I'm either gonna repot this into a pot that will fit all the way down inside here, or I will just use that basket for a different plant and find a different basket for this one. I, I checked out inside the basket before I bought this to see if I could get these off and it looks that way. So let's see. Ah, oh, there we go. Yes, no blue. Awesome. I'm gonna go outside and see if I have a nursery pot that this would fit in because uh, I want to repot this. If, if I don't uh, have a pot that would like fit in here and like fit both of these, then I'll just end up potting this plant, the Monstera Deliciosa, into uh, like a terracotta pot that I know I have those outside. So we'll figure out one way or the other, but I'm just gonna temporarily set it back in here for now. It gets bright and direct light in front of this window, but no sun, so it works out perfectly for it. Very good, I'm very happy that worked out so smoothly for moving those, and it's exactly what I envisioned when I first saw the basket. I was looking at the back of it when it was on the shelf in Home Goods, and then I flip it around and all of a sudden it's got these giant pink fuzzy balls on it, and I was like, oh my, wow, that's, uh, that's very Pink So Foxy era. Um, but Pink So Foxy grew up, and now we like, uh, you know, modern bohemian. That, that's the only way I can explain it. It's like a kind of contemporary, a little bit spaceship, you know, a little random because I do have like a giant cactus skeleton in here, but it's more about the earthy textures. So, you know, we got a, a, a combo going on here, but modern bohemian is how I describe it. Um, so, okay. Sahuara Street? Yeah. Oh, wow. We're late. So we're at an estate sale. Uh, on Grant. Went to a garage sale too. You gotta get here early. Yeah, we didn't get numbers yet. I don't know what is it like, it's already almost eight. So we're really late. Back, 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 back. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> there I am. Oh, look at that. Knickknacks. Yeah. Birth and the babes. Lots of dishware I've noticed in every single one. And I did not bring my uh, black light. Is this what you're going to do with yours, your Choya? Oh, uh, you could. Oh, wait, I got to go back here to this part, the tool section. This is what I wanted to see. Craftsman stapler. There's some masonry tools here. Some sandpaper. More tools. Scroogey. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Hmm. Looks like a custom made one. Dollar hammer. That's cute. Cleaning supplies. Pardon me. Oh, sorry. I'm sticking out. Did you see anything? No, uh, nothing. But, uh, we can go to the next one. Somebody was definitely into surging sewing. But, you know, uh, I like how Christine has her place really bright. You can tell in here it's... Uh, My place. <laughs> yeah, your place. What about yours? I mean, our place. Yeah, yeah. Right. Okay, we're going. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right, thank you. So at, uh, most of them, they have a half price sale. At, so you can check out another one? Yeah. yeah let's go. And they usually, uh, when they have them, kind of like these yard sale signs they'll put out on the street there. These estate sales kind of like, it's exciting because you're, it's like this uh, treasure hunt kind of thing, you know, and you're getting really good deals usually, or sometimes they get really good deals, depending on who prices it. I've seen some really random pricing on stuff. Yeah, it can be all over the place. Yeah. In many instances, it's a lifetime of people's collections of tools and projects they've done and souvenirs of places. And it can kind of like, you know, it makes you want to reflect on <laughs> people going through your stuff. 
when I was in Maui, somebody, they mentioned it and I'd never thought of it before, but they were talking about having a yard sale where it's stuff that you were really into at one time and people come up and just kind of pick through it and sneer at it. <laughs> you know, they want to give you like 25 cents for it or something. And uh, I don't know, it's just different I mean, perspective. When we had our yard sales, uh, when we were moving out in Maui, we did unbelievably well. With well, Christine had uh, unbelievably good quality stuff is why, right? She's a really smart shopper. Oh wow, that's a steep driveway. Okay, we're going to another estate sale. It's such a nice day out. You guys can't really see the mountains, but the maybe when we get up here, the Catalina Mountains just look beautiful up here. Yeah, I gotta tell you, um, Tucson, <laughs> it gets picked on. It's really weird to me. It's, it's a good thing though, because otherwise it'd be really expensive here if everyone wanted to be here, you know? Yeah. So, uh, I don't know, but we love the desert. That is pretty cute though. How much is that? I like that. Is all this for sale or you know what's the thing? Pots and pans. Hello. There's a bridge. I bet that's uh, New Mexico. Sniveling. Open at 8 a.m. Oh yeah, let's get a view here. Sun in Tucson. Nice palm tree. Cicadas are going off. You hear those things? Screaming all day. Hey, how are you? I'm fine. Hilti. Yeah, that's a good brand. I don't know. That looks like an old school one though. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. When you, you might gotta mind your steps. A sunken. Uh, so, oh, there's. See, I didn't bring my uh, black light. Is that? Uranium glass, though, do you know? Yeah, uh, I can't tell you. Uh, How are you? Good to see you. I'm here. <laughs> desert. The desert. Oh, these are yearbooks, I think. There's some Dutch shoes. Dutch shoes. Yeah. <laughs> and then Indian shoes, too. Oh, this house is for sale. How much you want to pay? Wow. Three ninety nine. Good price. Oh, yeah, see, Tucson prices, I call it. How what do you think? Bid? What bid? Uh, three. Three ninety nine. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I need some shirts. Let's see. Clothes are a dollar. Shoot, it's less than a cup of coffee at Cafe Luce. What's in here? What did they collect? Dolls. Yeah. So you know that's something else too. Is like if somebody walked into my house, they could pretty easily tell I collected uranium glass because they had a bunch of it. But <laughs> uh, you know these are some people collect Barbies. Some people have collected tobacco, uh, tobacchiana. I think it's called uh, Coca Cola. Really Come on. Ballet. Really and uh, wow, four post bed. Clowns. Oh, wow. That is kind of terrifying. <laughs> I mean, it is what you make it. A little doll chair for the Barbie. Yeah. What do you suppose this thing is? Like upside down, maybe, or maybe a hanging thing. Here's a dresser. Here is, uh, wow, I think that's Zion National Park there. Something about the state sales, like that, that twister thing. You'll find really old, uh, authentic, vintage stuff. I mean, like this place, you can tell probably, had, you know, the pink. It's been well maintained, but it just has not uh, been updated. Yeah. In the, oh, look, Hawaii. Okay. Well, thank you. That concludes our shopping right here's the exit. Thank you. Okay, Tucson prices, free coffee. Yeah, <laughs> Michael likes coming to natural grocers for their comp coffee. See, coffee and tea, H12. Did you, you got want it? some tea? Yeah. I'm gonna... Um, no, I think I'm good. This is one of my favorite places to come to check out their body care. They have a really good selection here. There's three locations around town here, but I think it's the other one that has my favorite body lotion. But this one might have the oil that I really like. Let's see. We've got all kinds of essential oils. This place reminds me a lot of Mana Foods out in Maui. I don't see my oil here. You know what? It might be at the other location. 
all kinds of little bottles and eyedroppers. Oh, look at this one. I like that. We're doing DIY uh, beauty products. We get our body wash and stuff here too, but yeah, really good selection. Oh, and they've got makeup. I get some of my Zuzu Lux here. Egyptian Gold, Chameleon, those are two of my favorite eyeshadows. And where's the other one? Oh, Sahara. Yep. And they've got blushes. I've got Belladonna, but I want them to come out with one that doesn't have any kind of sparkle to it. Some of these have a little bit of shimmer and that one's got a little, a little too much sparkle. Look at this. This is the first time I got to see this in person. The Nude Renaissance from Honeybee Gardens. I think they just got this in because they didn't have this before. Look, I'm, all the colors are here. What did Michael find? On sale. Beyond Meat. Oh, yeah. Burger patties. Cookie. Pumpkin spice cookie. This is way bad display. I know it is a bad design. Look, look at it. Over. Yeah, I think it's meant to be like more down on a tabletop yeah. or something. Oh, I like this one. Oh, Venus. Oh my goodness, I love that color. Oh, so you can buy them individually. Yeah, so this is actually a really good idea here because what they did was they made it so you can keep reusing the palette. So they got oh, all these I colors see. in here, yeah. but then you can, once you finish that color, you can come and purchase or you can order online. You can purchase the replacement for it. Yeah, Fresco and Venus, those shimmers are really pretty. Oh, yeah, to see you guys can't see anything. Yeah. I know, okay. They've also got testers out for these, so I'm gonna try these, the cocoa kind. This is the Maca Bee. So it's a tinted moisture stick. That's what it looks like. Pretty dark looking, huh? It looks, it looks just like beets in the stick. Mm. What is the matcha? Not sure how I feel about Green? That. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna go with that. That's, I don't know. Turmeric. Maybe it's the tester, I don't know. Oh, it's got beeswax in it. Oh, did this one too? It's ripped off on the top, so let's see. Oh yeah, it has beeswax, okay. Cocoa Never kind. Mind. But I have their, uh, their blushes or their multi sticks, and those are really good. They're more like highlighters, so. 500 calories right here, I think. Is that how it's there? 480? What was it saying? Uh, let's see. 210, but there's four, two, serving. uh, two servings, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 500 calories don't match. Okay. I love the mountains up there. Yeah. Okay, that was just a quick little break. Hey guys, we're at another natural grocers location. Um, we're gonna go to Home Goods next door. They open in about 10 minutes, so we came in here first because Michael wanted another coffee. This is the body oil I wanted to show you guys. It's out of Africa, Shea Body Oil. This is so good and it smells delicious. They have different ones, but my absolute favorite is this one in vanilla. It is so good. So I use that just like a body lotion um, all over your arms and legs and gives you a nice glow and it smells awesome. And then I wanna see if they have the body lotion because I'm out of it and I need to get more. Uh, you know what? Shoot, I can never remember what location. Oh, is that it? Well, this is the brand, Savvy Naturals but I like the vanilla one and I, the, it's Tahitian vanilla and I don't see it here. So they have a little bit different stuff at every location. Yeah. So I think it's at the, it's this at one the they have Broadway one. <laughs> you got more cookies? They have more variety of uh, Oh, more variety? Cookies. What so do we got here? The raisin and espresso chips. Ooh, the espresso chips sounds and good. Teriyaki, uh, teriyaki jerky. jerky. Uh, okay. How's their coffee? This, it's different than the one up there. The yeah. one up there is better, this one. But it's later, too. Yeah. You know, it starts getting staler. So here, let's check it out. Oh, somebody's returning their palm. They didn't want it. Oh. Okay, see if I get goods. kicked out of here. Oh, because well, you got the, coffee? No, one time I came in here and the, there was some homeless guy outside and I was sitting here waiting for Christina in my eye boom and there's the guy that tried to eat. Yeah. So and I thought it was you. Yeah, I thought it was <laughs> Okay, I'll okay. be out in the truck. Okay, I'm gonna look over here. Still looking for a large basket to have as storage in our living room though. That one would fit in there. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Let's see what else. I always love looking at all the acrylic stuff here too. Like all these little containers for like bathroom organizers and stuff. Your cotton pads and makeup. What? Oh no, we're not doing pumpkins on Halloween yet. This is only July. I love all the woven textured pillows. Fun. Okay, let's see what else. Oh, more baskets. 
I love the white chairs, especially that that stool there because I'm looking for a stool to sit in the back office. Um, it's the well, it's kind of like the laundry room, but I call, I call it an office because there's a, a folding table there that's a little bit high, you know, for folding laundry, and I use it for like another desk. How many Hawaiians are there here? Sun on your skin, palm trees, trees, blue sky. In fact, someone just said they were moving from uh, from Oahu to Arizona. How much is this one going to sell for? Another uh, Arizona step, Tucson step, lock and tackle for the Grinch, roosters. So let's see. Watch your step. Mexico, feeling good. Boo, 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 boo. Oh, some clothes. I gotta try on some shirts. Thunderbird. Oh, it goes all the way through. Yeah, come in here, washer dryer, cups. Yeah, open kitchen, nice. Pots and pans. Did you find the ice cream scoop? Oh, no. Mashed potato. Yeah, let's see. Oh, I'm looking for Tom's, too. It's right here. This is perfect. What? Not perfect? Look at this ice cream scoop. What is that? I've always wondered how many kitchen utensils you need because uh, I got, I don't know, I have like three that I use. Or three as a Christina. You know. Those aren't going to work? Uh, I think so, but... Uh, no, no, no. Okay, just going to keep still looking. Think yeah, about it. I'm still looking. Alright. See what's out back here. Elliptical, any uh, cactus, golf clubs, bicycle, some weights, free weights. There you go. If you wanted some weights, free weight. A Roman chair, yeah. Yeah, uh, it's a little too close to the new prize, isn't it? All right. Okay, I'm going. That's something else. Too. Oh, I like these things. You smell them. Anyways, uh, yeah. So you go to these. <laughs> I'm not picking on anybody's house keeping keeping because I know that I have dust in our house too. But uh, you know, all these people walking around, it creates uh, people in there sneezing and sniffling. <laughs> something about Tucson that I really love. It's not so much uh, in the newer neighborhoods, but, you know, there's no uniformity in Tucson. I mean, it is, this isn't a good example, this street, but like on our street, it's, it's random. You've got people with gravel yards and you've got people with landscape yards and, you know, I mean. Look at that open sprinkle. Yeah. Huge. How much you want to pay? I know Christine said she's going to do another video about these uh, state sales one of these days. Make it exclusive about that, but I, while we're in this one, I wanted to point it out. that Sometimes they have them in these communities. <laughs> and boy, man, see, like this guy's parked in front of a garage, and people do all kinds of nonsense. <laughs> you know, parking on curbs, parking the wrong way. Oh, wait, Running I did that. Running over people's plans. Right, yeah, that's, uh, oh, did I do that? Urkel no. alert. No. <laughs> Yeah, it can be a scene. If you get there and it's a, a really big one and there's, I mean, what was the one we went to? There was like 300 people at it. I mean, it was really crazy. Well, we've been to some of the hills here that, uh, like in the foothills that are really crazy. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. And I got my pig. Toy soldiers. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Everything sold as is. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, jacket. Fur. Yeah, oh, size 12. Oh, that's a nice jacket. I'll wear that. Front door. Beep, 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 beep. Front door. Oh, at an alarm. Hey, all right. Beep, beep, beep. Rod iron, cast iron. I think that concludes it. Yeah.
Beep, 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 beep. Oh, we've got a Mr. Coffee and we usually make tea. Oh, yeah, a coffee grinder. Let's see. We don't even have any coffee in there. Yep. Hey, guys, we just stopped at a thrift store and this is where we got our dining room table. Just seeing what they got. They're unloading some stuff right now. That's a cool table. Is that made with saguaro? It looks like saguaro skeleton inside. Hmm. Okay, so that thrift store was the, it's a Salvation Army, and it's the one that's on, is it Tom, Hi, Chick -fil -A. Tom Birdie? Is that Tanky how you say it? Tanky I say Birdie? Tanky Baird, but they say Tom, Tonk Baird, okay. Tonk Batter Day, I don't know. Hey guys, we're up in Oro Valley right now. I'm just gonna check out uh, Tuesday mornings as the store. Let's see if they got anything interesting. Tassel pillows. Let's see if they have some organizers in here too. Plant pots. Okay, I didn't see anything here at Tuesday mornings, so we're gonna go. Um, I'm gonna go find Michael. He's probably running around out here. We might go to Big Lots. Okay, I'm walking in the sun because I'm freezing right now. When we stopped at home, um, just for a little quick pit stop, I made a giant coffee, ice blended coffee. And now I'm freezing even though it's like 90, 95 degrees out here, I'd say. But the sun feels so good. God, I love the desert. Dry air. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I'll stop in Ulta. Let's see. All right guys, I'm at Ulta right now. Dose of Colors, one of my favorite brands. Oh my gosh, they have such beautiful colors and lip products and they've got a ton of, well, they're cruelty free and they've got a ton of vegan options. So I was looking at their lip glosses. They've got some beautiful nudes. Some of these nudes that we're gonna test out too. Not all ones. Um, I have, later on. I have um, no foundation on, but I do have like a little bit of bronzer lip. Okay, let's try it because they have they have a lot of fun new <laughs> products out right now. Uh, you, do you like a little bit of a glow or do yeah. you like something more? Okay. Yeah. Because they think and will plain, plain with all the swatches. Good grief. This is Ouch. Cool. This is a... <laughs> <laughs> do you guys live here or? Yeah. yeah. This is a... Two, well, we live in Tucson. We're just yeah. uh, up here. What we like that? to come up to our own. Feel, feel that. This is a... um oil this is called precious metals oil but it's not, it metal. just gives yeah, a little silky. i'm congested so, so I, can... <laughs> I, I just have a habit of smelling everything yeah, even, walk... if, even if it doesn't have a smell but i love how pr it just you can use it on like oh, cuticles yeah. and stuff too oh, so nice. it has just, like oh, amber. a lot of Ooh, yeah. yeah speaking of cuticles wow <laughs> yeah you can try some right now if you yeah, want <laughs> Here, we gotta try this first. Okay. okay. What are we trying first? This is. Oh, you wanna try it too? No. Uh, yeah, I want him to try it. Yeah, what is it? It's um called litmus. Yeah, here. No, but you gotta oh, try wow. it on your I face. Look red. You gotta try it on your face. Really? Close. Okay. <laughs> ah, it's refreshing. Okay. So, what does this do? Hold oh, this. It has a fragrance. It's just gonna. It has tons of antioxidants in it. It has like coconut um it's got like safflower seed oil Lit mist yeah so it's a hydrating spray but okay. it's actually a, a makeup like a setter to set your oh, okay. makeup but it i love the smell and the how light the mister is here you can use this on your hand if you want to take okay. off here yeah just rub that <laughs> with your fingers this is new too this is a melt away gel it's an oil makeup remover but wow. i use this like at night and it'll take everything off even like your waterproof oh, yeah. mascara or eyeliner oh, thank you which one was that let's see pure mm -hmm. yeah i like this brand i use them a lot. Uh, it has um sunflower seed and olive oil so it's really hydrating and that complex i, I think i mentioned too their energy complex that's in here too it's like ginseng green tea okay. and vitamin b so it stimulates the whole okay. like so i want to try it do you want to fill it on your face uh, sure It'll take off the makeup, but it's so moisturizing. Okay, and that you can do like you don't have to use water with it, but you can use it like just like tissue it off, or you can use like a wet washcloth. Okay. Beauty of the beast, I call it. <laughs> <laughs> He's getting his. 
videos. Huh? Yeah, well, this is kind of like uh, being tourist for us. We don't usually make mm -hmm. it up this far north. Yeah, uh, yeah, just where we could play and shop. And that's cool. She, uh, and what did you think of Tuesday morning? It was a little smaller than I thought. It was, it was a lot smaller. I mean, it's fun, but I like home goods better. Uh, you, okay. <laughs> How'd that go? So we're in Ulta and Michael got his hair yeah, cut. Yeah, Christine was getting in Yeah. Dyed. Here's my name. <laughs> <laughs> She didn't ask how to spell it, so... Oh, that's funny. She got the um, double uh, consonant, right? Yeah. yeah. I didn't know that in Ulta, they're marking a lot of things now. Like, the brands specify, you know, vegan, cruelty-free. I used to be in here oh, on my yeah. phone, like, oh, scrolling yeah. through, looking at, pro you know, one product at a time. But yeah, now they're staying on the packaging. It makes it so much more fun. Well, and now I gotta get some hair gel. Yeah. Do you want to look at the... Let's check the hair section over here, too. Okay, we've got a combination of dose of colors. I think those are all dose. Of, oh wait, and uh, Anastasia lipsticks. Then down here was a new palette from Tarte. I'm gonna come back sometime and check that out again. I'm gonna look up reviews online first, but my phone died, so I'll check it out later. Oh, that's a really nice view of this side. Yeah. So this is Oro Valley, the marketplace in Oro Valley. Nice to come up here for the day, for afternoon. We're gonna go to Costco next. They're having an open house here. Michael wanted to go to this. So we're gonna go inside and check it out. New carpet smell. Oh yeah. Okay, so I couldn't film in there. Well, she was reluctant but, to, and you know, yeah. it's, if it's, you don't, if you don't ask. So I shouldn't have asked. You shouldn't have asked. I should have just been filming. Okay. Ran up the stairs, start filming. <laughs> but it's, it was really pretty um, out the back here. Really nice pool and a view of the desert. That's what I love is I want a view of the desert where you can just look out and you see the saguaros in the distance. The one yeah. we looked at this morning was almost an acre. Mm -hmm. And it was a at bit. one of the state seals. Yeah. The one, uh, yeah. So that one was $3.99. This one... This is tiny and it's $3.94. Uh, the lot is. Yeah. And these tract houses, the house we looked yeah. at this morning was built in 1966. This one was built in, uh, I don't know. Anyways, I'm just saying. I wouldn't expect this these houses to last 50 years without extensive renovation. Yeah. And Michael can build a house, so we really yeah. just want to find a piece of land in the right location, and then we can build, well, if you build know, from the ground up. Maybe a fixer upper. Yeah, or that. Yeah. Gut it. And make Got it. Got it. Flip it. Yeah. Got it. Flip it. Okay, yeah, so. We've got some plans, but we're definitely laying down roots here in Arizona. Today we're going to Costco. What did Michael find there? Some vegan white cheddar, yeah, they just were like sampling. little cheese puffs? And they were on sale. Cheeseless puffs. Yeah, like Cheetos maybe. Uh, uh, Rainier cherries. Yeah, please. Okay, dates. No, you Gotta get more dates for coffees. I'm at World Market right now, looking at baskets. I'm looking for a good basket that would work as a laundry hamper in my back room. Kind of like these, for good. Maybe, thinking about it. This is the part I love most about moving is getting to redecorate. Oh, look at this. Ooh, well, that's kind of fun. Oh, oh. I like the natural ones. I love all these woven rugs. These are awesome. Okay, let's keep looking. I'm just getting ideas right now. I'm kind of figuring out, like unless it, unless I see something that I absolutely gotta get today. I'm just hanging on, I'm just making a wish list right now. Sort of mapping out the different areas of the house and what needs, you know, organization and what needs a little more decor happening. I love all the texture. That's fun. They have such fun pillows here. That one's 
really nice. How much do these cost anyway? Oh, that's $39.99 there. What about this one? Is this the same? Ooh, that's a little bit more. Okay, we'll keep that in mind. And the knitted throws. So cozy for winter time. We're in Walmart. Michael's doing the blood pressure test. What do you think it's gonna be? Oh, it's hurting. It's squeezing me. Is it? Does it do that to you? It yeah. Your yeah, it squeezes. You it had pretty to do good. it twice, though, right? Cause yeah, because the first time it didn't, it didn't uh, register or Should something. Should I not be yelling? Is <laughs> Let's see what it says. Okay. Please do let me out. <laughs> it doesn't want to let go. Okay. Let's see. It's thinking about it. Is this good? It's red. 140 over 69. Maybe I can confirm your reading. That's high blood pressure. Oh. Okay. Please take your arm out of the top. Robot. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay, guys. We are in the parking lot of Choose Fitness right now. Yes, that was our gym. And so we're gonna cancel our membership because we had it for almost two years. And it's not. It wasn't as useful not, as we thought it might be, you know? Yeah. Like, I really enjoy doing yoga classes at home. I like kind of home workouts usually. I know you got access to all these weights and machines and stuff, but I just found, you know, after testing it out, that we do pretty well on our own at home. I think those people just went out the uh, fire exit. Are they skipping out on their bill or what? <laughs> oh. Anyways. Okay. Yeah, you know, uh... Wild wings. Hey, hey guys, it's Sunday evening and I'm clearing out this space here because I'm gonna be moving my dresser in here, which is currently in our bedroom. Um, but it's only my dresser, so Michael doesn't use that. He's got his whole walk-in closet in the bedroom. So um, I'm gonna be moving my dresser here, I think. So I, I think it should fit below that window, but we'll, we'll check. And I'll move the mirror off of it because right now it has a mirror attached, so. Uh, anyway, I'll play around with it, see what we can come up with. But yeah, I definitely am going to clear out this whole space and also my closet, but I'll probably start the closet tomorrow. But yeah, I'll just get the dresser in here for tonight and see how that fits. Okay, before I empty out the dresser drawers, let me just see here. Okay, it's 30 inches, so that's going to be perfect, perfect fit under there. Okay, there we go. Mid-century modern back in here. I gotta dust it. Michael's gonna come back in here and remove these. That's what the mirror slid into. Really need a rug in here, you know what, to cover that tile floor, but that's okay. I guess having the tile floor like open like this with no rug or anything makes it really easy to clean, which is kind of why I left it like this for now. But ideally, I'll have some kind of floor covering in here once I get everything sort of situated. I'll search for that either online or home goods or something. We'll find something. 